you don't need to watch the news for proof. All it takes is a look around you to confirm that Americans are overweight, with many of us falling into the obese category. This burden matters because being heavy is bad for our health. So why are we still packing on the pounds? Dr. Nola Boud is with the Solon Spine and Wellness Center, and he's here to share a new approach to losing weight that goes beyond skin deep. So this is something new for your, your business. You know, I, we've been taught all along that calories are what count you know, in trying to lose weight. Isn't that true? It is to some degree, but if your hormonal system is imbalanced, you can do any diet you want and virtually you won't lose much weight. Or if you do lose it, you won't be able to keep it off. And that's what all the latest research is showing. Okay, so it's not just us and our lack of willpower that right. prevents us from losing weight. It's actually the hormones sabotaging the diet. Right, and, and that's what so many people have just given up and saying, you know, I don't have the willpower to stay on a diet because typically people might stay on a diet and not lose weight or they feel like, uh, I'm just going to live with this excess weight and live with the ill results that it gives me because I've tried all these diets mm -hmm. and that's where I want our clients to know that there's still hope. There is hope and and that's what we can offer. Okay, so um, and I know with hormonal balance and stuff you had mentioned to me sugar. Sugar mm -hmm. is a bad thing or is it, it just is. got one a bad rap? I think one of the, there's about four common symptoms when your hormones are in balance that you might see. One of them is just unusual cravings, you know, for sugar or, or for stimulants. Maybe in the morning, if I don't have my coffee, I just can't get going. Mm -hmm. Or have you ever seen people drinking soda pop in the morning or candy bars at lunch? That's because their hormonal system is imbalanced. Another indicator is that if you have these mood swings, where you're feeling good and all of a sudden, why am I so angry or why am I so short-tempered? Those are blood sugar problems that are directly related to hormone issues. Okay, so the, the sugar, body. your sugar intake can affect your hormonal balance, which right. you need to have staying mm -hmm. on, on an mm -hmm. even keel, right, to right, be able to be successful right. in a diet. Um, how do you know if someone's got a hormonal balance going on? What, Imbalance, I guess. <laughs> well, some of those symptoms we look at, uh, energy spikes, but we, uh, there's a Singleton Institute did a, a questionnaire, it's a 12 page questionnaire, and we ask our patients to fill it out, and we have a computer that generated response, and it will tell us where those hormonal imbalances are, and so it's really nice because what happens is if your hormones are out, your fat burning hormones are not working, and so we'll talk to our clients about ways that you can stimulate foods that you can eat to stimulate fat burning hormones, foods to avoid which are going to cause you to have fat storing hormones. What's the fat storing hormones? There's hormones like insulin, for example. If you're under a lot of stress, you're secreting a, a, a product called cort cortisol and that causes an insulin rush and then you get all this blood sugar and you don't know what to do with it so your body stores it right in your fat cells. So we, we got to talk about that. Whereas on the opposite side, there's a hormone called HGH, human growth hormone, and a lot of athletes inject synthetic yeah, I've forms heard of that. it. Well, your body secretes it at only two hours every day. Did you know that? And, that, and if we're missing that two-hour block, then we are not using our fat-burning hormone capability. And so it's, it's during the hours of 12 and 2 a.m. So if so, you're not getting to sleep by that time, okay, you're so missing that. Okay, so it's sleep. That. That's another That's big component. That's a big part of it, correct. So correct. you need to be asleep during that time for actually for that... HGH to kick yes. in and help you burn the fat, huh? Right, and there's a lot more examples that we can give when we sit down. What we want to do is sit down with them for about an hour after they've evaluated this form, and we'll talk about ways, foods they can eat, foods they can't, diets that they can go on, and then we offer a one-on-one -on -one approach that's going to be very specific to their needs, and we'll monitor it because research has shown if you have a health coach or a physician, you're going to lose twice as much weight than someone who d tries this on their own. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you can be that person in the background making sure that things are, person right. staying on track. And staying accountable yeah. to, to decisions. Everybody wants to lose weight, but oftentimes they just don't know how. And that's what we're there. Because you're going to eat real foods, not just box And you're foods. having a workshop, I understand. Yes, yeah, so we'll have it on Wednesday, and um, we'll, we'll spend about an hour, and it's limited to about 15 people, and as a community service, we're offering it at no charge. Excellent. And this will just give us a chance to share this information. If you've missed the workshop, call our staff, and they can maybe arrange a second one. All right, sounds good. Those extra pounds can not only weigh heavily on your body, but also on your mind and overall health. To find out if Dr. Boot's program could work for you, attend a seminar or use the information that's coming up next. My thanks to Dr. Abood for weighing in with us today.
Learn more by calling the Solon Spine and Wellness Center at 440-248-5070 or visit their website www.solonbackpain.com.